course, we want, as a small nation, to sit at the table, at the family table, where you take decisions that affect our future. And we want the security of the international strong currency that the euro is. And we want a stable environment for our high-tech industries that already contribute 25% to our export earnings. And not least, we are a small island. We don't have a military. We don't aspire to have one. We want the security, the long-term security that is contained by belonging to a strong European family. It's been said in clear transparency during uh, our meeting this morning that uh, serious efforts will be required, uh, particularly in the areas of uh, fisheries, agriculture, uh, rural development, environment, free movement of capital and financial services in order to meet the accession criteria. We think, and uh, I would like to stress that, uh, that it is of mutual interest both for the European Union and for Iceland to uh, ensure broad and sustained public support for enlargement. Uh, of course, at the end of the process, it will be up to Iceland to decide whether conditions are right for the conclusion of the negotiation, bearing in mind Iceland's population's readiness for membership. This is a rigorous, a demanding process, uh, yet we are confident that Iceland has the capacity, has the determination and the commitment to bring this to a successful conclusion. There is uh, no doubt that we share uh, with the Icelandic government a strong commitment to Iceland's uh, perspective as a future European Union member state. And this has been proven by efforts on both sides. This does not mean uh, necessarily that it's going to be an easy ride, uh, difficult uh, uh, issues, uh, uh, and uh, Stephen, you have mentioned uh, uh, them, um, are there, like fisheries, uh, agriculture, environment, food safety, just to name uh, a few. But dealing with these issues requires an open debate and solidarity among different segments of uh, society. But I welcome the spirit of openness uh, uh, and transparency and dialogue uh, with which the Icelandic authorities have approached uh, the question of accession. If we manage to solve in a satisfactory manner the most difficult issues, such as the fisheries, then that will go a long way to uh, convince the Icelandic people about the positive things of joining. We have conducted sustainable whaling, and when we enter the negotiation, we, of course, have, as I stated this morning, we want the EU to take, take into account the fact that this is a part of our tradition. And while we are uh, not endangering any stocks, I think it is fair to say that this is at least something that is negotiable. One cannot say beforehand that Iceland should stop whaling. This is just one of the difficult issues that we are going to address during the negotiation, like several others. And I'm sure that in the end, we will find a successful solution.